for the first time in history, electric cars have outsold diesels in Western Europe. My friends, this is amazing news. And if you don't live in Europe, you probably don't understand just how important this news is. Here are the numbers. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all your new subscribers. Great to have you here on the channel. Make sure if you're new, you check out some of the 700 plus videos we've created over the last six months. A lot of that stuff you just won't find anywhere else. Now, welcome back to everyone else. Great to have you back. And thank you to our Patreon supporters on the channel. It means a huge amount to us that you have supported us through this period of time. And it's really meant that I've been able to make this channel work and make it happen and that the team have been able to create the videos and make this actually work for you guys. And without it, I don't think this would be possible. So big thank you to everyone on Patreon that has done this for us. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon account if you want to support us this year. That would be absolutely amazing. Now, what is going on here in Europe? Well, Schmidt Automotive Research data from 18 Western European countries show that 176,000 vehicles, which were powered by batteries, were sold compared to 160,000 for diesels. For the first time in history, more history has been made when it comes to electric cars outselling their dirty, stinking diesel counterparts. Now, Dan reports for Inside EVs that since the 1990s, diesel engines have seen a boon in Europe with many passenger car buyers preferring them to their gasoline counterparts. The same thing has happened here in Australia. We're all kind of conned by the myth of the so-called clean diesel. And boy, oh boy, was it a myth of epic proportions. Seriously, I mean, this should be a myth that goes down in the textbooks of universities all across the world. Remember when we were conned by a car company saying there was clean diesels and then it turned out they're all lying about them by using emissions cheating devices. And don't get me wrong. It's not only Volkswagen that's been doing this. It's many of the legacy automakers. Since Volkswagen's diesel gate broke in 2015, oil burners have started to lose popularity. At their peak before the scandal, diesels accounted for roughly half of new passenger car sales. Now, Volkswagen is still fighting voraciously in court. It claims right now its diesel vehicles with cheating devices are legal. Seriously. I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about their high court action in the UK right now where they made those claims. Now, diesels still make a significant chunk of new car sales in Europe, though. 19% or 160,000 sales in December of 2021 across 18 Western European countries, according to Berlin-based Schmidt Automotive Research. That said, the diesel engine's decline in Europe is irreversible, given that battery electric vehicle sales overtook diesel-powered vehicle sales last month, reaching a market share of 21% in Western Europe. This is a historical turning point, said Schmidt Automotive Research. West Europe, new monthly all-electric electric vehicle sales surpassed diesel models for the first time in December of 2021. So this is the first time ever that electric vehicles surpassed diesels in monthly sales in Europe. Although electrified vehicles, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and battery electric vehicles combined outsold diesel vehicles for the first time in September 2020, more than a year ago. So this is only purely electric vehicles here we're talking about. Now, according to Schmidt Automotive Research founder Matthias Schmidt, who told Automotive News Europe his data is 99% confirmed, December's high EV sales figure was partly driven by automakers ensuring they complied with CO2 emissions targets for the EU and UK to avoid massive fines. December sales were also boosted by Tesla, which is known to register more vehicles at the end of a quarter. For example, there were 9,613 Tesla Model 3s registered in the UK in December, accounting for 28% of the model's total sales for the year in the country, according to the UK Automotive Association, SMMT. 
Tesla was the number one US car brand in Western Europe during the final month of 2021, according to the European Electric Car Study. Tesla sold 34,700 electric cars. Ford sold 31,800 cars, period, most of which weren't electric. Speaking of Tesla, some of you may say, well, Tesla's numbers, the numbers were skewed because Tesla's, they deliver more cars in December. Yeah, that would be conveniently ignoring the reality that Tesla is about to open one of the world's biggest factories, period. One of the world's biggest factories in Germany this month, as in, in January. They've already started manufacturing cars there now. I'll put a link in the description below to that video I made about that. This year will be absolutely ballistic for electric cars in Europe. And January, my friends, won't be a good indicator of what exactly is going to happen this year. But I think by the end of this year, you're going to find that probably 50% of all cars sold in Western Europe will be electric. Yep. Big call. That's the call I'm making. Now, sales of diesels had been falling throughout 2021, but they were still running above EVs through the first three quarters of the year. Data from the European Automotive Lobby Group, ACEA, showed. Through September, there were 2.3 million diesels registered in the EU, UK, and EFTA countries, a decline of 26% over 2020. During the same period, 801,025 EVs were registered, an increase of 91%. That, my friends, is called disruption. This shows there's a long way to go before pure electric cars outsell diesels in yearly sales. But the trend is very clearly in their favor. And I don't think it'll be long. I think 2026, maybe start of 2027 before we see the ICE vehicle die in Europe. That's my prediction. And in fact, I'm not alone on that crazy prediction. I know some of you are going to say I'm insane. You can even though subscribe if you want. <laughs> I don't really care. But that's my prediction. 2026. And I'm sticking with it. Let me know what your prediction is in the comment section below. When do you think the ICE car will die in Europe? When do you think it'll die in the US? When do you think it'll die in whatever country you live in? Let's put up, let's put our predictions in the comment section below and then come back later on in five years and see how close we all were. Thanks for watching the channel. I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Bye-bye.